are here at Witch's Night Out at the Gardener Village, and we are going to be talking to a whole bunch of interesting people. I'm going to have my fortune read, which I'm very excited about. We're going to talk to witches and warlocks from all over the place. See what's going up. There. And you have a spider right there. He's your friend. I real it's a giant head. It's hard to even fit. You have a big head. I do. I told you you have a big head. Yes, my mother. She was not happy. <laughs> We're here at Witch's Night. Is that the technical name, Witch's Night Out? And I am with... Melissa McIntyre. Elisha Butler. Heather Perkins. And we're here. Melissa's been good enough to loan me her witch hat, which makes her 30% less witchly. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we are here at the Witch's Walk Night deal. Call it, what's it called? Witch's Night Out. Witch's Night Out, so says the witch. Um, and I have not been surrounded by this many witches since my ninth birthday. Let's not talk about it. I don't know why my dad. Thank you, thank you. So you're short then? Yep, that's me, short and short. Sh short and short. Your broom, do you do your own broom work? I do, actually. I have a little help from Heidi over here. Don't try and drag her into this. This is all about you right now. We get together and have broom parties. Oh, we do. Interesting. Why did you decide to come to Witches' Night Out? Because it is the funnest night of the year. We look forward to it all year long. Is this your is this your first time at Witch's Night Out? Oh no, it's our tradition. We've been here for four years in a row. Um, did did someone say they had their fortune told? Just okay. Together? No. All right. You seem nice. Let's talk to you. Uh, your fortune inside. What, what was your one question? I see by the sign you get one question. What was your one question? Tell America your one question. Am I going to win the lottery? And? Yes. Seriously? <laughs> Is this your first witch's night? It very much so, yes. The very first and probably the last. Why is this the last? I'm old. I'm very old. You don't look a day over 20. Oh, thank you. The question that I really have for you is how late does this go? Because in my mind, witches should be up all night. Let's talk to you over here. I think the technical hour is 11, but if the witches leave here, they just move on to somewhere else. <laughs> Never know. Let me ask you something. There are treatments that you can get. We are in the line for fortune tellers. Now, I see by the sign that you get one question. Or have you thought ahead about your question? We've been kind of discussing. We've actually been thinking about this all year since we went last year. So, you know, we've been preparing for quite a while for this event. Um, I have to give you your hat back now because I'm gaining power. I'm gaining strength from this hat. I, uh, I started to float a minute ago. It was very bad. Let me take this for you. Thank you. I feel much better. Uh, we really appreciate you guys stopping to talk with us. Thank you for letting me use your hat. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Now, is there a lot of training that you have to have to become a witch? Oh yeah, a lot. You have to go to school for that, or is it just like a journeyman, like an electric? It does come it natural, deep within. deep within. But you have to have training. What kind of training? It's top secret. Do you each get a question, or is it a group question? You have to decide where it goes. We each get a question, and it's a really important question, because last year, my question came true, so I am holding out for this. <laughs> wow. I thought, I thought magic was fake and whatnot so clearly night out. anything can happen anything can happen at which is night out we are here being red uh and i am here with kelly kelly and kelly knows all really so i'm gonna ask i get one question by the sign and kelly i'm considering wearing shorts all winter should i wear shorts all winter this card is saying yes you should you're a fiery personality you're going to be able to do it i'm fiery can you tell me your question, or is this like the birthday wish that if you state it aloud? I'll share mine, but mine's kind of silly because my dear sweet husband is having a hard time deciding his career. And so my question is going to be, is he going to figure out his career within the year, and what is it going to be? Do you want, I'll save you the two bucks. Are you going to tell yeah, I'll, should we just do this right now? Yeah, sure. 
Okay. All right. New trade places. We're gonna come over. Okay. You're gonna read my my palm. No, no, I'm just. Got tarot cards. No, I. Uh, yes, I am. All right. Your husband's name is. Mason. Mason. He's going to be a bricklayer. I have a coven. I've put together. I, I've put together. I've interviewed nearly a hundred witches and have put together this coven, uh, and the including the following people: Christine, Rachel, Kaylan. Tammy, Katie. I'm here with Matilda. May I call you Maddie? Oh yes, whatever works. That would be fine. Hello everyone, wonderful to see you. Is this your first one? Have you been before? My sec my, this is my second one. I came last year with these two young ladies. Witches. These two young, young witches. witches. I got slapped once for saying that to someone. I'm with these witches and right across my face. Now, how many years has this particular event been going on? Oh my, several. Uh, too many to count. Wow. Uh, and, and you, from what I understand, are a head witch. You are, you're fairly important in the witch community. Well, yes, there are a few of us, but there's Lucinda, darling, and then we have lots of helpers, and Matilda's one, and then there's, there's Isadora and Hildegard, and we just have a wonderful time here at the village. Tonight it's okay to call everybody witches, so. <laughs> You're all witches! <laughs> hey. Yes. Let's see. anything. <laughs> right, normally I would get hit for that. I think the major question that everyone wants to know is where are the warlocks? There are no warlocks here. Where, where are the men witches? They are not allowed. <laughs> that doesn't seem fair. That They're doesn't seem. The children. Oh, the children. You can have a girls' night out. This is, this is a huge event. This is a, a very big deal to these people. The children love it. Adults love it. Everyone loves it. What's your favorite part of this event? Oh, my. I think this evening when all of the witches gather and we all start cackling. <laughs> well, now, it is generally known that all women have the sense of casting spells over men. We are the superior breed, you know. Oh, I know. You don't have to tell me. You know, it's, it's maybe magic to you guys, but it's just commonplace for us. <laughs> I feel commonplace right now. I really do. Well, thank you for letting me stop and visit, and uh, good luck inside. Now, are you a good witch or an evil witch? I kind of play in the middle. Ooh, a morally ambiguous witch. That's very exciting. Do, uh, do your decisions affect your witchcraft or does your witchcraft affect your decisions? How, how does your process go? How do you think? How do you cast your spells? <laughs> carefully. She casts them carefully because a willy-nilly spell casting, not a good idea. <laughs> oh, it's just so delightful. It sounds delightful. Now, your cackle impressed me as far as cackles go did did you were you just born with that or is that a gift you have well you might say with a household of six girls yes we all had to cackle for our position you know we are here with officer julian officer julian officer julian now he is keeping the peace amongst the witches now i, I have a number of questions how do you battle witches? I mean, how you're, they're casting spells. How do you battle that? I'm just trying to walk, walk around and find that out myself. I've been to the Gardner Village at non-haunted times. Is it haunted all the time, or do the spirits come and go? All the time, they just come out a lot at Halloween. It's all the decorations and the candy. I love candy. What's your favorite candy? Oh, I like taffy. Now, do you uh, use magic in your everyday life away from the witches' festival? Well, you know, I think when you're a mommy, don't you always have a little bit of magic you have to pull off in some way or another? I say yes. Thank you, Maddie. It's been a pleasure interviewing you. Oh, you're very welcome. Good night. Do you have any advice? I do have some advice. Um, don't get into it. Because... Keep your distance because uh, you don't want to mess with a witch. Now, do you, did they give you any special tips, any, any secrets to battling witches? They said to stay away from the ones in the wheelchairs. Yeah, right. They will hunt you down, those wheeled, wheeled beasts. What was that? They just wipe you right off the map. Saltwater? Yep. 
pulled? Peppermint. I'm a licorice man myself, oh, a little black and white. Down there, they have red licorice at Sweet Afton's. <laughs> Look at you selling the stuff. Yeah. Now, I don't even work for them either. I do. I'm here with Isadora. Is that, is that how it's properly pronounced? Correct, Isadora. Isadora, and we are cackling for coupons, and there have been some, some deafening cackles. So, everything been peaceful? It seems like witches, the witches that I've talked to, very nice people. Have they been nice? Very nice. That's phenomenal. Uh, do you think, and I, this is purely hypothetical, do you think a witch could stand to tase? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out before the night's over. Ooh, sounds like a good time. Now, on TV. not anymore that you're cutting the scene. Hey, you know what? I'm sorry, okay? We're having a moment here. Hey, you know what? Oh, this is really on TV. Not anymore, really. Like, no, seriously, tell me. I'm serious. You guys ruined it. And if you break my table, I'll come over there and beat you. Your name was one more time? Rachel. Rachel. That's awesome. That's the best witch name I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you for... Are you coming to the costume parade? Pardon me? You should come to the costume parade! In ten minutes, everyone. In ten minutes. Costume parade on the main stage. Ten minutes. There you go. To the main stage! <laughs> we are here at the Witches Parade. The witches are coming by us. They're parading. Uh, it's like the Rose Parade. This is very... That was the witch with the most rhythm I've ever seen. Could you give us, can you, do you cackle? Oh, fabulously. Well, I would love to cackle for you, absolutely. Although my voice is quite worn, but I'd still be happy to try. Well, if we're going to do it, let's do it. All right. <laughs> See, what I liked about that is she almost let me go, and then the cackle just methodically brought me back. It was stupendous. Uh-oh. It is on. It is. Spell on you. Lucinda and I are tight, and she's the spell witch, so watch out. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> she's the head witch, yo. She's the boss. Head witch. Yes. She's the village boss. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Watch out. She cast a spell We are here at Witch's Night Out, and you apparently appear to be a man. I am. Very much a man. Very manly. <laughs> Cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. Scarf. Shoes that don't have heels. May, may I? Oh, may please. I? Help me, help me. <laughs> That's the whole thing. That was a short and sweet one. That was very good, Sir Warlock. This ring actually... Um, I wear it in real life. I know. And the thing about the ring is that it actually poisoned... The, it's one of those rings that you pop open and it's got poison inside it and not us. like no. it is it really does yes no, it it's doesn't. a it does show them open the ring open the ring <laughs> listen to my counterpoint which is night out right you, you do not appear to be a witch no I am a apparently one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse <laughs> oh that's exciting what color is your horse Black, naturally. Well, that was so good, I'd be happy to give you a coupon. May I? Absolutely. Help yourself there, but you may only have one, Sir Warlock. Let's see what we get here. Spiced cider. Is it any Ooh, good? Oh, absolutely fabulous. In fact, I'll join you for that. Wow, lucky it's, you. To buy one, get one free. I'm going to buy the young lady a spiced cider. Woohoo! All right. <laughs> Thank you. The people love their witches here at the Witch Parade. We've got witches galore, ugly ones, pretty ones, some the size of your head. Excuse me. Um, you wanted to be on, so you better be on. Step up. This is a, a horseman of the apocalypse. Do you feel like the witches are going to survive the apocalypse when it comes? I don't know, do I? <laughs> I'm Josh, and we are here with some witches and a couple of guys. <laughs> and the question to you, sir. Yes. Did they cast a spell to get you here? Every year. Okay. <laughs> if 
so I can be shoved out. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of your brooms, do you have a push broom or is it one of the sweepy kind? Ours is a sweepy kind. It's a technical witch term, right? Sweepy yeah. kind? Yeah. <laughs> do you, okay, do you have a dust pan with your broom? We no. carry our bag. Yep. Is it a backpack or is it like a messenger, very hip? Bag. <laughs> is it a year long spell? I don't know. I've been doing funny things ever since I've met him. That's women for you, though. Okay. There we go. Did you did you uh, cast a spell? Yes, I definitely cast a spell. She's spell binding. I know. I just saw the eyes. I saw the flash of the eyes, and I was mesmerized for a moment. Yes, I was. We are here with Shari, Libby. Natalie. We're here with those three, and I feel like there's a changing in the witch world. They're becoming more young and hip, and the, the witches are becoming more professional. Is this your everyday witch wear? Yes, it is. What do you prefer? The old lady bag. The old lady bag. Do you keep old ladies in that, or is that more of a... Only kill tiny them. parts of them. Yeah, you kill them, and then you take them. <laughs> Speaking of killing old people, do you, do you stew? Do you, I mean, do you bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble? Is that part of your uh, witch's deal? Yes. Yes, I do. Diana, what's your name? My name's Angie. Angie. I'm Josh. And your name? Dave. Dave, it's good to meet the both of you. Now, were there spells involved here? He seems more into it than this gentleman here. <laughs> well, as far as we know about Gary, uh, he never gets all into it like we do. He's always the outcast. No. Yeah. Gary, how do you feel about that being the outcast? We call him Scary Gary. Well, yeah, I'm, I'll always be outcast. I stand on my own. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Gary. I really appreciate you standing on your own. You seem to know a lot about magic. So maybe you can clear something up for me. Is it magic, M-A-G-I-C, or is it the old English M-A-G-I-C-K? I actually come from a line of gypsies, so it's not really magic for us. You come from gypsies? Yes. You've stayed in one place too long. Go. 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 They're going to they're gonna find you. Go. 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 Now, you, you've got the glasses. It's like you're young and you are, you're urban. You're an urban witch, which is awesome. Why do you feel that this best expresses your witchdom? Well, I don't want to come across as just witchy. I want to come across as intelligent. So it it does it well. Do you feel like witchiness precludes intelligence? No. I don't either. <laughs> what is your favorite part of this? Have you been here before? Oh, yes. This is a tradition for our friends and, and for five years now, actually. And your favorite part of the evening? Is when we get all our friends together and go to Archibald's and just eat. Have you had the uh, black, the, the dessert that's the thick chocolate cake that could make your head explode? Have you had that over there? Oh, no, because if I had, my head would explode, and I like my head. <laughs> we are here at the witch's deal with... Deborah, Heather, Rachel. Deborah, Heather, and Rachel. And I see you guys. Did you guys just get here? Yes. That's very exciting. Are there men in your life? Uh, yes. Why, why, why isn't he here? He'd rather watch TV. <laughs> Where is your broom? In my car. <laughs> why do you have a car if you have a broom? Isn't, isn't that a little non-witchy? I feel it's in it's more incognito. I only bring the broom out on special occasions. Such as? This night. But you left it in your car. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a girl thing. It is, it's a girl thing, but is it a girl thing by their choice, or did you cast a spell upon them to leave them home? Well, so that they'd leave us alone. You know, this is our night. Is the laundry going to be done when you get home do that spell? Yes, and dinner will be served, and a few other things. We're here, and apparently, uh, so is a bachelor party. Is this factually correct? This is very correct, actually. Here's the bachelorette. She oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I just ruined it.
ruined it. It didn't ruin anything. My mom should be back in the car. Do they have valet broom parking? They do. It's right over there. <laughs> Pardon me? It's, re- it's right over there. <laughs> do you have to tip the valets? Oh, yeah. Big time. That's outrageous. That's outrageous. Excuse me? They like toads. The tops or the whole things? The whole thing. Uh, now, these spells that you cast on your husband, do you, do you have men? In my life currently? Well, after the spell, maybe, you know, tons. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever use the spells on men to, you know, come around a little more? I don't think we need spells, but they... they <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I need lots of spells. She needs no spells. What was your name? Kayla. When's the uh, happy date? November 4th. That's so cute. It's like you're electing a husband. (laughs) We are here with... Cindy. Kate. Jill. Diane. (laughs) Wow. I died a little bit inside, Diane. Thank you for that. Uh, Now, I didn't realize that witches were from the future. Are y'all futuristic witches? No, we are Mamma Mia witches. Uh, What's your favorite spell at home? Uh, the house being clean before I get home from work spell. See, I probably would have picked the not go to work spell myself because then it's already done. This is true. I hadn't thought about that one. I'll have to remember that next time. I'm an encyclopedia of witchdom, so you can go ahead and feel free to use me. Witchdom? <laughs> so you were really desperate to be on camera. Do you have anything to say? I'm so excited to be on camera. I'm meant to be there. You totally are. Gimme, gimme. Give me a man after midnight. Ow! As long as it's Pierce Brosnan without a shirt. Is that what you're saying to me? And not ba- singing. And not singing. <laughs> he really wasn't very good, was he? Now, thi- <laughs> are you strobing yourself? You're strobing yourself? <laughs> Check it. <laughs> yeah. We are here. We've, we've made a rare find. We are interviewing the littlest witch. Now, tell me, how long have you been a witch? What was the most recent spell you've cast? It was actually a love spell on this guy. Uh, it totally worked. Did it? Awesome, yeah. Really? Like, she's getting married, isn't she? One assumes that it was for you, but apparently oh, it was... Me? <laughs> I have a giant head. May I try on someone's hat? Grab it. I have a giant head. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, show me, show me. That's right, I feel very good. Where is this a homemade costume? It is. Yes, it is. It's really, not that it's a costume, she's an actual witch. He? She? She. Darling little girl. Um, thank you for letting us interview you. Everything down to the high heels. <laughs> she does have high heels. That's awesome. I am here with... Melanie Heitman. Melinda Gardner. Catherine Pendleton. And I'm Josh. And something that I notice normally attractive young ladies. There's a lot of stuff going on in your face. Why is that? On her face, you mean? <laughs> yes. Um, Abba. Hester. Prin. Hester Prin. Weren't you burned at the stake? Yes. No, I lived a long and healthy life, actually. <laughs> Did you not read the Scarlet Letter? <laughs> I must be confused with the uh, other one. I should have been burned at the stake, yes. Yes, my sisters were. My sisters were. <laughs> you don't even have to cackle on command. You're just, you're just out there cackling. I just cackle. I cackle. I do too. I'm more of a gentle cackler. Like, you know, hold me, we'll cackle, it's great. <laughs> That's awesome. Did you? <laughs> are you pretending to be witches or are you actually witches? Actually real witches. But don't tell anyone. Who am I going to tell? Like, wh- who am I going to tell? Who am I going to tell? No one. Oh, yeah, you're friends? Our husbands? <laughs> yes, exactly. Y- I think your, your husbands know your witches. Uh, we really appreciate you guys stopping by. Thank you for your hat. Oh, let's get my casting. Here we go. Ready? Strobe it. Ooh. I should at least buy you dinner. <laughs> She's calling thunder down. It's awesome. That's awesome. My normal laugh. By laugh, you mean cackle.
Where are your husbands? They're at home with the kids. <laughs> Why couldn't they come to the witches' night out at the Gardner Village? Because it's just for witches. I think that's true. I've seen a number of witches around here. Warlocks, there have been some dude witches. Have you seen any dude witches around? Um, actually, there have been a couple. You don't look a day over 90. Oh, you are so sweet. Oh, my goodness. Her kids tend to gather every now and then. I and know. Her, you know, she's got I some know, problems. Know, yes. She's not a young spring chicken like me. 150, oh, how old are you? Oh, I'm only about 100. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What this? Talk to me about your devil scepter. Uh, yeah. This is this is my very special special yard art scepter. <laughs> Thank you. M may may I? Sure. That green really brings out your eyes. <laughs> I'm not even joking about that. You are like 140 at least. That was I awesome. Did. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. You are to the nines, as it were. Did you did you build that yourself? Yes. And the costume? Yes. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you right now. What was your name? Tammy. Tammy, I'm gonna be honest with you right now. Uh -huh. You look spectacular. Thank you. You look like like a million bucks. I'm not I'm not even joking. Have you guys? Have, this is your first year here. Yes. Are you gonna make it a tradition? It seems like a lot of fun. You coming back? Yep, for sure. That's awesome. Thanks for coming, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, we found the only in the wild wolfman. Danger, danger, danger. Step close to the little wolf beast. Right, you've got a little blood on your fangs. You're hungry, mate. Ah! I'm not sure quite exactly what's going on, but there seems to be a fair bit going on under her dress. And in her face, for that matter. Mm. Did you fashion the hat yourself as well? Yes. What does it say? Spooky. What does it say? Spooky. Are you indeed spooky? Uh-huh. So by that, you can take your scepter of death back. Uh, would, would that, you're spooky, you're an evil witch then? I am, they call me the swamp witch. <laughs> Right, C can I get a, a, a furry high five, please? Look at the size of those paws. It's crazy. Don't try this at home. Danger, danger, danger. Why do they call you the Swamp Witch? <laughs> because I am of the swamp. Logical. It makes sense to me. Thanks for stopping by, Tammy. It was great talking to you. Thanks. Thank you for joining us. We've had a great time. We've talked to a whole bunch of witches, even some warlocks here. Really appreciate you joining us. Check us out next time.